it's Amy, owner and curator of Yo So Boho. Welcome to my channel. If you're a friend of mine and coming back, thank you so much. It's good to see you. Um, we are going to do some Goodwill shopping this evening. We're going over to the Kent Ravenna. It's kind of right on the border of Kent and Ravenna, Ohio. Um, Goodwill. Haven't been there in a long time. I met up with my Aunt Beth and we did some shopping. And then we went down the street same day and hit the ReStore, which you'll see next week, um, Thursday. Because Tuesday I will be live. Tuesday night, 9 p.m., I'm going live, gonna sell a few things, gonna just hang out, um, might bring some fun topics to talk about, um, and free to answer questions. Um, you know, I, my favorite part of a live has been to just engage with y'all and, uh, really enjoy since this is like a one way <laughs> thing for me when I record these videos. Um, it's magical when you show up, y'all show up and we get to talk. So that's my favorite part, but I will bring a few things. We'll do a little choice, um, auctioning off. Speaking of auction, these things over here are currently up for auction. I dropped that video last night. I will link that video right here as well as down below if you missed it. There were 10 items plus a mystery enamel pot. So I'm going to fill that enamel pot full of things. Um, go over. They're all starting at very low bids. If you want to take a look, see them close up and uh, bid on them. That auction will end tomorrow at 10 p.m. Eastern. Um, that's when it'll start ending. So if you missed that, go watch it. Uh, bid on stuff if you want to bid on stuff. Um, if not, that's okay too. <laughs> Maybe just go see what I had. <laughs> um, but yeah, that'll end on Friday. Today we're going to go shopping. Tuesday is alive. Next Thursday, also shopping at the ReStore. So we're going to have a good couple of weeks here. Um, let me know what you think about these auctions if you've checked one out. Um, this is my second one. So if you um, are in the mix or if this is the first you've heard of it, um, whatever it is, let me know what you are, are thinking about it. And if you don't know um, Richard, Vintage Art Guy, is the one who came up with this and he's also doing auctions. Um, as I'm recording this, I don't know if he's got one running this week, but I will connect his channel at the end of this video because if you aren't watching his channel, you should be. Um, all right, I think that's all the business. Let's go shopping. Right out of the gate, I have to do a voiceover. There was a rock concert happening here, which happens a lot in our local Goodwills. Actually, today we were rocking the Casbah, <laughs> so I had to uh, mute it. This lady was absolutely beautiful. I loved her costume and all of her jewels. She was made of like a almost like a doll material, kind of a rubberized. Um, but I decided for six dollars I would leave her up there. She was beautiful though. Peeking through here, just kind of initially looking at prices. This place is up and down as far as pricing. Um, I don't go down here a lot. It's a little bit further away for me than a couple of my other Goodwills. Um, and it's in a direction where there's really nothing else out here unless I'm antiquing. So these were kind of cool. They were like a wall sconce. Um, although when I lifted them up, they were a little less um, impressive just in the weight and everything. They were resin made in China. Um, do not hold that against things because resin things I'm finding um, have value. Um, so many of the things I look up, even after I leave someplace, I'm like, dang it, <laughs> I should have looked that up there because they might not be something that I would display, but oftentimes they are valuable. This little creature, <laughs> I think somebody, that's a hobbyist piece, somebody painted that and I'm not a fan of all the dead animals hanging. Um, some of these hunting pictures can be worth money, but no, I'm not believing that that one was. These were like made of marble and there was a ton of them. Look at them all. They were a promotional item. A little piece of pottery back here. Another 
hobbyist piece. Beth found this piece that wanted to be blue sky pottery, but it wasn't. <laughs> and then I spotted the rocks um, Maui from Moana down here. He's pretty scratched up. And I liked this wire duck over here. In fact, everything I've put in the shop that's kind of made a wire um, sells. So maybe I should have picked that one up. There wasn't a ton of stuff on the shelves here, not compared to our last trip to the Akron Goodwill, but there was some things, and I do like these Goodwills that color code their shelves. Always makes it fun to shop. Over in the wood section, we're back under the speaker now. Beth found this cool basket, it was super dusty, but we love the feet on it, and she also found this piece which needs a little tightening up, but man, do I love it. I love the deep, rich wood, and it just is so functional. So I am gonna grab this piece. Such a cool piece. I think this has so many possibilities. Of course, you can put it kind of in that area of your house when the bills come in, you could put the bills in there, but who wants that? <laughs> I think it would make a beautiful vintage display because it has this little protective box here. So you could put your doodads, your whatnots in there, peeking out, and then this could be anything. If you have a postcard collection or some beautiful um, ephemera, maybe some old photos, I have a couple of old postcards here. Um, look at how pretty some old postcards in here. Um, very cool. I was happy that my aunt passed on it. <laughs> I was happy to take it. It does need a little tap tap um, on the box here. It's a little, I squeezed it together so you can't see, but it's a little loose. So I will probably tighten it up a little bit. Maybe it needs a little glue in there, um, but we can do that no problem. Otherwise, it's a really nicely built piece. It's got a lot of great weight. It's a little too big to ship. I'm planning on taking this over to the shop unless there's like a perfect space here for it, which could happen because it's got this nice dark wood like all of my trim in my house. So it would look really cool here in the right spot. We'll have to see. <laughs> it's either gonna stay here for a while or it's gonna go over to the shop. But it's a great piece, paid $3 for it. I would probably ask at least 20 bucks at the shop, um, if not a little more. Yeah, I think it was a cool find. The funny thing was I was looking for something quote unquote broke and I made that announcement when we were over here because I've been looking for things to fix and save. And so somebody overheard me and this, conversation happened. I'm going to take it home and glue it. I did. <laughs> no, I found it. <laughs> she found it and said, oh, I don't have time for that. <laughs> I love meeting people at the Goodwill. There's always somebody fun to interact with there. I mean, my aunt's there with me. She's pretty fun to interact with too. <laughs> I found these pieces here there's more of these made in China. Um, they want to be uh, clay work pieces, blue sky pieces, but they're not. This one feels quality, like it could be blue sky, but it's not. It's mama's pizza and there's pizza hanging out here. I don't know what that is, a bottle of something. It looks like milk, I don't know. Milk? Yeah, it doesn't look like wine. As we were shopping, a new cart came out. So of course I had to go over and check out what was new. And I saw they had a bunch of mugs and a couple of these were Constellation mugs from Marie Dunn and I grabbed them. Oh, we love when our carts come out. <laughs> this one had a number of Ray Dunn mugs on it. I do look at everything when I'm thrifting just to see if there's a value to it. And if it's cheap enough, I'll always pick it up because people still like it. And these mugs, of course, people are gonna love because they have their um, astrological sign. So this one is Scorpio. And then on the flip side, it has the constellation of Scorpio. And I really couldn't pass these up for 50 cents. 
If you don't know this, by the way, my aunt found a Ray Dunn mug worth over $450. Um, I'm not kidding. It just had a real simple crown on it. In fact, I'll link that video here and below if you want to go take a look at it. Um, I was right there with her when she found it and it was so exciting. Um, but anyway, the other one that I found was Leo again with the constellation on the back. And again, 50 cents. You can't pass these up for 50 cents. Uh, they will likely sell for between 10 and 15 dollars over at the shop. That's about the range I'll be, maybe 12 or 13, because somebody is going to see this um, and want it because it's their sign. Same here. Uh, so these will go over to the shop and they'll be put in our mug section, unless one of y'all needs one of these. All right, let's check out the rest of this cart. There's a few more mugs here. Hershey's Kiss one. Funny that I'm looking over uh, right past that green one that is another Ray Dunn. Maybe I'll get back to it. <laughs> I spotted this willow tree piece over here. These can be worth money. This small one, not so much, and they had $3 on it, so not worth it. This was really pretty and a little confusing because it had a plastic base. I think somebody may have glued it, maybe to protect it. I don't know, but the piece itself was pretty. Checking under here, there's some sort of tile, like a hot plate. I do grab her to look her up, but she is not something that I decide to uh, go with. Now these boxes down here that I touch, I do end up with those. I'm not going to show them in the haul. I'm using them for storage, but there were three um, nesting inside of there. So that was kind of exciting because they were neat. Aha! I did make it back to that green mug. Yes, there was a third one. And I wasn't thinking, I saw the green mugs. Um, I really didn't read that it said Ray Dunn. This one just says hop into spring. Again, it's in that same kind of $10 to $15 range as far as value. Um, if you find these on eBay, you're going to pay between $20 and $25 with shipping. Over at the shop, somebody will get a deal on them. Is that Marvel? No. What did you find? Fireplace set? Fireplace set, but there's only two of them. I love the wood on it. Uh -huh. Wood and brass. I always take a little bit of time to look through the books. I have a friend on YouTube. His name is John. His channel is the Small Town Small Time Bookseller. I'll link his channel below in the information box. But I'm always looking for the things he says that sell well, which are educational books, religious books, um, counseling books. Things of that nature, I'm always kind of looking out for. And then for myself, I look out for reference guides, anything that's vintage or antique. And here I spotted one of those books and it's about chintz ceramics. So this was exciting. I pulled this out to check it out and I apologize, I'm still very zoomed in here. Um, but in a second here, you'll get to see this. Um, in a more friendly way and then right near it I remembered seeing this book and it's all about mandalas and so this one as well was one that I was interested in grabbing. I do love to find a reference guide and this one is all about chintz ceramics. It is the revised and expanded third edition by Joanne P. Welsh. If you don't know what chintz is, chintz is a patterned ceramic, and these are all transfer, like the florals, they're all transfer. There's some really valuable chintz out there. Um, keep your eye out for chintz. You'll see some of the patterns here. There's a lot of different um, English China makers that made chintz. Um, in fact, I found a set of Grimwades 
China with the black background. I'll include a picture over here so you can see it. I have not sold it yet. <laughs> I should probably list it because it's got some value. Um, but it was one of my Goodwill finds that is like, oh, can I part with this? It, it matches nothing that I own. <laughs> so I can definitely part with it. But Pretty cool that I have some more information. It's always good because you can learn what to look out for. Like you can't open the interwebs and say, hey, show me a bunch of chintz and teach me about a bunch of chintz patterns. And um, when you pick up a book like this, you can. You can browse through it and you can learn about the techniques and the different companies to look for and the different patterns and all of those things. So it's kind of cool. Um, I have a little library that's building that's up here out of sight, um, some books back here, and this will get put right into my library after I spend a little bit of time with it, of course. I love mandalas, I'm so drawn to them. In fact, if you haven't realized, the logo that I created for my brand has kind of mandalas in it. Um, they're a little more, you know, <laughs> interpretive or creative uh, with the boho vibe, but this book just really caught my attention. This is just a whole book about finding the whole self, the internal ohm. It's about meditation and spirituality and revelation. This is about moon magic. I like this kind of stuff. Um, I also like the tarot. I'm uh, big into tarot. I used to have a couple of books right up here that are about tarot. I think they're right here. Um, just, I think it's because I appreciate the art and I appreciate the mystique of it. Um, same with mandalas. So I will love looking through this and then it may go on a shelf here or eventually on a shelf over at the shop because I think somebody who appreciates my boho vibe over my Yoso boho booth will like this too garnishing a feast for your eyes. I want to see the sweet potato seals. Oh, first the cauliflower oh. sheep. Oh, gosh. Wait, what is the black part? Oh, it says a rather thin eggplant. <laughs> One rather thin eggplant. Oh my goodness. Wow, that's fancy. Is that sweet potato? Daikon radish or thick carrot turnip rutabaga. Where are these? <laughs> He's cute. Kites. Oh my gosh. What do you do then? You cook them or you just... No, you put them, you know... As de decoration, just raw? Table or platter decorations for parties at the seacoast. At the seacoast parties. Mm -hmm. Oh, we should look this up. This might be something that people are looking for. <laughs> oh, I've seen that man. done. I've really? seen that done, yes. I've seen uh, like TikTok videos of that. Wow. That would be cute if you were having a Hawaiian. Yeah. I ended this trip checking out the clothes and look at this. It is a super soft cardigan, brand new with tags from Lane Bryant. My size, $55. Let's check out what the prices are. Looks like sweaters are $5.19. So yeah, I think this is going to come home with me. Everybody who's been around knows that I thrift my clothes. Um, this is the most soft, thin. <laughs> um, can't see me, but it's I can see you. <laughs> um, it's super thin, super soft high quality piece. Lane Bryant is a plus size retail and um, I don't buy anything uh, retail. I don't do the fast fashion. Um, why would I when somebody's going to drop it off at the Goodwill with its tag on it? <laughs> it's $54 tag on it and I'm going to pick it up for a fraction of that cost. And this is uh, you know, a staple piece. Really, really nice. I will always be curating my closet from the thrift store. <laughs> um, 
Why wouldn't you? <laughs> All right, everybody. So that concludes the shop along this evening at the Goodwill. I'm so glad that you came along. In fact, if you're still here with me, thank you so much. I appreciate you. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please do that. Um, click that little alarm and set it to all so you know when I put up a new video. Happens twice a week at least. Um, with these new drop auctions, uh, yeah, that might be important for you to have an alert up because that happens on Wednesdays or whenever we're going to drop them. I don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah, and then when you're clicking around down there, click a like or a dislike and then leave me a comment. The comments are my favorite because I respond to them all. If you saw something that I missed or if you have a question or if you just want to say hi, um, do that down below in the comments. And then the biggest, best thing you can do is share out the channel. Tell somebody that you like a channel, um, that you're watching a channel, that um, shares information and that we go shopping together and treasure hunt and talk about the things that you should be on the lookout for. All those things. Tell them to come on over, subscribe, join our growing Yoso Boho tribe. All right, everybody. It is Thursday means that we have a weekend between us. The auction ends tomorrow night. So if you're in there, um, keep an eye out. It'll end at 10 p.m. Eastern time tomorrow night. And then I'll see you again on Tuesday. On Tuesday, I will be live at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time right here on this channel. So that's the next time I'll see you. Until then, please take care. Oh, and go subscribe to Richard's channel. Here's the link. And it's down below, Vintage Art Guy. See you guys on Tuesday. Bye!